The Micro Musical Theater Show proudly presents City of Light Created by Jan Roper, Julie Weiner, and Gabrielle Wagner Mann Dressy pants, two pair of jeans, I'll take my favorite skirt. A pair of sturdy walking shoes, at least one long sleeve shirt. One wool sweater, ballet flats, and my cosmetic kit. Check, 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 okay. I think that's it. Hey, Patrick, do you have any more room in your bag? Be there in a sec. A scarf, a hat, and boots, umbrella, just in case it rains. My lactose pills, some melatonin, ooh, that stick for stains. iPhone charger, where's that cream in case I get is it? Check, 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 okay. I think that's it. Airplane tickets, our hotel info, and don't forget, gotta take Dad's photo. I'm sorry, Dad, I'm gonna make it up to you. I wish I'd gone to France when we had the chance. Your straight A student with her goals, her work, her MBA, was far too busy with her life, her friends, her fiance, to make the time to do the one thing that was on your list. Please forgive me, Dad, for what we missed. You got your dad's ashes all packed? Got them. Funny how an entire life can fit into one little bag. His life was more than those ashes. You know that. Ugh, it's work. I gotta get this. Malone! Yes? What's up? Yo, Malone! Knock, knock! We know it's tomorrow, but we won't see you, so here. Happy birthday, Biatch. Yes, it's pink. Deal with it. Aren't you so excited for your first trip out of the country? And by country, she means California. Here. It's a notebook for all your Paris lists. Speaking of lists, here. Guys, are you sure you can handle all this stuff while I'm gone? And please, don't forget to use the color coding key for prioritizing. Oh my god, we got this. Touch base with florist, call the caterer. Take in my mail, work on the seating chart. And please pick up my bridal veil. Waterhouse plans. Buy a guest book. I'll call Rabbi Schmidt. Check, check, check. Okay. okay. I think that's it. Hey, Malls, what do you think about moving the trip back? About a week or so? What? But the whole point was to do it on my birthday. WTF, Patrick? It's a big opportunity. Could put me on the map at the firm. Huge client. It always is. What? This could be my shot at partner. We'd be set financially. We could start our family. Join the country club. Patrick, why don't you get it? I need you. Please don't make me go alone. I get to finally show the partners I can do this, Miles. I'm sorry. Sorry. You must be kidding. Please tell them. They'll have to do it on their Only own. Only if I want to have them pass me over, babe. It's shitty timing. timing. What's really shitty is my dad dying on my birthday, you know. You know I want to be there. It's not as if I don't care. And Miles, I'm certain you'll be fine. Fine? Really? I'll make this up to you. Just close your eyes. I've been waiting to give you this birthday surprise. Open. A key? A key to what? I bought us a house. You bought us a what? We'll have a big wedding and I'll be his wife. Two kids and a dog, a storybook life. The children will trick or treat each Halloween. Our manicured lawn will be greener than green. And our stainless steel kitchen will always be clean. I'll be the best real mom the school ever saw. I'll start playing bridge with my mother-in-law. We'll spend time each summer upstate Vermont and dine at the golf club with Patrick's rich aunt. And people will say, hey, what more could you want? And I'll think to myself, they are right, life is great, all is well, things are fine. Okay, Paris by myself. I can do this. 
Fine, go. Do what you gotta do, Patrick. Malls, I'm sorry, but we really gotta bounce. She's right. LAX is a bitch. You better make that shit up to her, Patty Malone. Guys, it's really okay. I I'll be right down. You got this. Hey, can I drive? No! Don't worry. I'll figure it out. You always do. I have to go. Call me when you get over there. Euro's passport and fake a smile. I just have to think like a francophile. You should be there, Dad, to walk me down the aisle. Nothing's been okay since you passed away. I miss you, Dad. And now I'm late, so there's no time to wallow in regret. Don't get too frazzled, gotta focus, what did I forget? The Let's Go France, a metro map, good God, will all this fit? Check, 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 okay. Dad, today's the day. We're finally on our way. Okay, that's it. Notre jour agréable. Oui, les touristes au pied de rive avec tout leur argent, c'est très lucratif. Pourquoi est-ce que les Américains s'habillent toujours quand ils allaient faire du sport Ugh, Les chaussures. Yeah, it's those bad money foreigners we all are born. The tourists swarm like flies. With tells and little lies Really, who could ask for more? Bonjour, Philippe! Ah, bonjour! Ah, bonjour, Philippe! Bonjour, Olivier! Ah, lipstick! Another one! Uh, what can I say? <laughs> I wish I had your luck! <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with my luck! Oh, it's just another It's going broke and so we But c'est la vie If you ask for service We say smile We say what for You think that we are rude But who has better food We'll make your visit here a chore We don't know why you ask for more Can you tell me where to find, uh, Hotel La Vie en Rose? <laughs> oh, regardez! Elle a un Let's Go France, écrit par des Américains. <laughs> Désolé, je ne parle pas anglais. Do you speak any English? Eh, uh, no. no. Mes amis, l'Hotel La Vie en Rose est là. Right over there. Thank you, merci, beaucoup. But there's a little side to us that we don't display. We may pretend to be mad, we're really not bad, it's just a game we play. If you know the truth, you might just stay. And devour our cheese and our pate. Please finish your glass of wine so we can send you on your way. Oh, it's just another lovely day. Here in Paris, it's going broke and so the skies are always grey. It might just rain all day. And we can clear our room. We saw lovely French perfume. Tell me who could ever ask for more. Could someone help me, please? There are no vacancies. Excusez-moi, madame, do you parlez anglais? Nothing but rotten luck. Parisians really suck. How could they give my room away? I don't care what those people say. I'm sure I booked starting today. It's not okay. Deep breath. You'll find a place to stay. 
Can you tell me what street is this? Oh, I wish I remembered more high school French. Why don't they have street signs? I just made the offer. She's easy pickings. I got this one. Hey, consider her close in 48 hours. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can you help me? <laughs> uh, thanks anyway. Ah, bonjour, Juliette. How did it go? Did they love your design? I think so. They told me to get a booth at the festival to see how the public responds, so... Oh, that's wonderful! But there's a little known side to us that we rarely show. We may pretend to be gruff, we're really not tough. It's just a trick we know. To keep you from buying our chateau. And keep your hands off of our Bordeaux. Please finish your chocolate crepe because it's time for you to go. It's just another lovely day here in Paris. While you may have a yen to stroll along the Seine, we will go on strike. If there's something we don't like, tell me who could ever ask for. Merde, merde. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, my purse, that's everything in the river. Oh my god. Look, I don't know what you're saying or why you're yelling at me, and I'm sorry, but my purse is gone, too. Stupid American. Look what you have done. Okay, that I understood. Look what I have done. You ran into me. Don't be. Calm down. What is going on? Are you okay? Juliet, what did you do to her? What did I do to her? Oh, Olivier to the rescue, right? This is a pretty girl, and he has to swoop in to make an impression. Oh, of course, because it is not possible that I can just be a nice person. Only when there is something in return, Olivier. Walk away. With pleasure. Why don't you try being a nice person to me, huh? Clumsy American asshole! You bumped into me! She can be so rude. I am sorry. What happened? My stuff, my purse, my money, my passport, my ID. Oh my God, this isn't happening. My dad. Oh, thank God. I'm not sure I understand. Never mind. Thank you for speaking English, by the way. Oh my God, I have to get a new ID. I have to get a new passport. I, I have to call the credit card companies. Oh, I should probably call Patrick. Oh, and I have to get a new phone. I have nowhere to stay. My hotel lost my reservation and I'm starving and I have no money. Correction, I have 19 euros. Alors, take a breath. What is your name? Molly. My name's Molly. Bonjour, Molly. Je m'appelle Olivier. Please, you will come back with me to my family's cafe. It is near here. You did say you were starving, no? Yes, Olivier, thank you. But I really need to get to the American embassy. Oh, no, Molly. The embassy will be closed. It is a holiday weekend. So please, come eat. Come to the cafe. I I'm sorry, but... I don't know you. You could be a serial axe murderer. <laughs> I could. <laughs> but it is daylight, and you can see the cafe from here. My mother is there. Are you always this persistent? <laughs> Only with the beautiful ones. <sighs> Thank you, Olivier, but I think I have to pass. I really have so many phone calls to make. I already have a list a mile long in my head. Okay, I am walking away. I leave you with your head list. I'm sure you will figure it all out. Or some other nice, friendly, English-speaking person will come to your rescue. Au revoir. Wait! Oui? I'll come, but only to use your phone. Of course. And maybe something to eat? Bien sûr. And then you will tell me where the embassy is. When it reopens, I will take you there myself. Hello, Olivier. How long are you going to make me wait? Ah, uh, Lisette, uh, I was going to call you tonight. I am holding my breath. Olivier, just so we're clear, the Frenchy flirting thing isn't going to work on me. Ah, yes, that is what they all say. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got you to laugh. Come, eat. I am very harmless. I bet. Molly, I'm here to be your let's go France. Oh, it's just another lovely day the move, here in Paris. The Montreal. Ah, no, there's nowhere else the that you should be. Right, mon ami. Yes, 
Zer is a reason we say Paris. The gas Ramone will chase your blues away. A few hours with Matisse, we restore your inner peace. So really, who could ask for more? We don't know why you'd ask for more. Et voilà, we are here. Café Crucel. This is your family's? It's so quaint. I love it. Well, unfortunately, with the big American coffee company trying to take over Paris, business isn't what it used to be. I know. The BACC is everywhere. Ah, this is Philippe, mon meilleur ami. We have known him since we are little, my sister and I. Uh, owns the... Um... Antiki Tea Shop, a few doors down. Antiki what? Uh, he buys and sells old things that... Uh... Oh, antiques! Oui, uh, antiquité. Olivier! Can you come look at the espresso machine? It's doing that p- p- sputtering thing again. Yes, maman. Oh, Olivier, nice of you to join us. I need you to... No, I'm sitting on my back. No. Oh, great. Olivier, what is she doing here? I, at the moment, just standing, but... You! I... Ruin all my stuff. And now you want my brother too? Go ahead. If I get you in a day or two anyway. She's your sister? You might have mentioned that. Olivier, when you can do better than this idiot American. <laughs> Juliet, the entire arrondissement can hear you. Please lower your voice. It is okay. My sister, she is just a little high strung. Je ne suis pas nervous. Je suis un art. Yes, of course, an artist who makes her living as a waitress. Barely. Ow! Enough. Juliette, go. Bring Olivier's guest something to eat. His guest? Ah! Try his latest conquest. So, Molly, you are visiting Barry? Maman, uh, Molly has just arrived and has been hit with some bad luck. Including Juliet. Oh, my dear girl. Welcome to our city and our cafe. Please, sit. I am sure Olivier will take quite good care of you. He's been my knight in shining armor so far. Thank you. Yes, he is mine too. Oh, maman. <laughs> See, I told you. I am armless. Mm, I did not say that. Olivier, can I borrow a pen? I need to get the list in my head onto some paper. Hey, is Julia going to spit in my food? I can assure you, the French do not do that. They have too much respect for food. But I will go make sure anyway. Philippe, drink your coffee. It's getting cold. Okay. Uh, uh, Juliette, would you... uh, would, Would you happen to know what time it is? 4.45. 4.45. Olivier, I really think I should be going. Olivier, why don't you help her find a hotel in the area? Uh, call Monsieur Corset and see if he has any place. Juliet! Don't be so rude! I thought Americans love their doggy bags. Thank you, madame. It seems I may have already overstayed my welcome. Oh, no! Don't leave the sun, please! Why don't you move in with us and become one of the family? You know, Olivier, I think Juliet is right. Molly, you should stay with us. We have a chambre de bonne upstairs. In the old days, it was a maid's room. Yes, it is small, but it is empty. Maman, it is not empty. It is my workspace. Look at me. I just lost everything, too. I have to redo everything. I need that space. You cannot just invite her to stay. Too late. Ow. Ow. Children, please! Madame, I really don't want to impose. Oh, then don't. There's the door. Juliet, ça suffit. That is enough. It is settled. Molly will stay here. End of conversation. Olivier will show you to the room. On y va. Et voilà. Here is the room. It is small. And a mess. It's perfect. I would have been sleeping on a park bench tonight if it wasn't for you. Alors, uh, 
bed, desk, toilet, closet. Uh, word of caution, do not open. It is stuffed full of Juliet's things. Maman has been bugging her for years to go through it, but she hasn't been uh, ready. Organizing is sort of my thing. Trust me, don't open. Got it. Also, it can get cold up here. That's okay. I can always stay to keep you warm. You are relentless. Persistent. Is this you in this picture? Yes. As a stunning and not gawky at all nine-year-old. And you are here at the Eiffel Tower with the... Is that your father? Uh, not quite. Real father. Fake Eiffel Tower. Epcot. Disney World. Ah, yes. Uh, Not the same. (laughs) So I'm told. He always wanted to take me. Now I'm taking him. Well, in the form of ashes. Today's the one-year anniversary. Today? Yep. Well, uh, I will take you to the real one. Let's go. Right now? I I, I don't know. Olivia, I mean... It has to be tonight. It is one year today. This thing is important, Molly. I know, but I, I really need to get to the things on this list because I'll never be able to sleep if I don't... Hey! Give me my list! This list here? (laughs) This is a very serious list, Molly. Olivier! But there is nothing on this list that you can do anything about tonight. It can wait! That's my list! No debates. I insist. I assure you these to-dos won't go away. Uh, Please don't read! It is late. But I need my... These can wait. I guess you're right, it's been a crazy day. I'm a mess. You need sleep. You need food. This will keep. A list is not a way to live a life. Call her friends. Try romance. Cash advance. Take a chance. <sighs> okay, okay, Olivier, you're making fun of me. And you're probably thinking, wow, she's really kind of OCD. But I've got to fix this catastrophe ASAP. Are you sure there's not a hotline number for the U.S. Embassy? This is fate, look at me. If you do, you will see. A friend who's here to help you make things right. It can wait for tonight. Let it wait till daylight. Look out your window. You're in Paris. You can see the real Eiffel Tower sparkling. I don't see any sparkling. Just wait. It's so beautiful. You're in the Ville de Lumière, Molly. The city of light. Now, what was it you were in such a rush to do? You're I will meet you downstairs to take you to the most romantic spot in the world. Olivier, I assume you are used to getting any girl you want, but I am engaged to be married, so I won't be falling for any handsome Frenchman. Ah, she thinks I'm handsome. I will meet you downstairs. Patrick, hi. Uh, I thought I might catch you at lunch, or... Uh, I can't figure out the time change. Um, okay, I lost my purse and all my money today, plus the hotel didn't have my reservation. I- I'm staying with a nice family who owns a cafe. I, I think it's called Cafe Cursel. Cr- anyway, I'm going to get to the embassy as soon as I can. Uh, do you think you could wire me some so money? So we are crystal clear. This is my room. You do not touch anything that is not yours, especially the things at my work table. Nothing. Do you understand? Where are the things that were on the bed? Uh, Olivier put them in the closet. Don't touch my stuff. I got that part. Good. Juliet? What? I am really sorry for how everything turned out. <laughs> Moi aussi. Molly, la trou est belle à temps! See? I'll be out of your hair. Au revoir. Don't fall off the Eiffel Tower! Et voilà, Paris. You can see the whole city from up here. Oh, it's... Magnificent. 
everything he said it would be. Je sais. I haven't been up here in so long, I had forgotten how uh, magnificent the view from the Tour Eiffel is. It gets a bit windy up here. I will get us something warm to drink and give you a moment to do what you need to do. Thanks. Well, Dad, I'm here. I made it. The view is awesome, and much is true. But Paris, Dad, it should have been with you. This is not how I imagined my French debut. And though I feel so numb, now the time has come to say adieu. feel your presence near but now I'm wondering what the hell I thought would happen here I'd get closure or feel better maybe you'd appear wrong 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 so wrong that's crystal Molly, uh, I wasn't sure if... Oh. I'm getting your shirt all wet. I'm so sorry. It is okay. I have more. Uh, will hot chocolate help? Chocolate always helps. Do you uh, want me to give you more time? No. It's been a really long day. I just... I want to get in bed. I'm impressed. No flirty joke there. Oh, I thought about it. I just didn't say it. Thank you, Olivier, for this night. You have been a perfect gentleman. Maman, can I please borrow some money to redo my designs? I just gave you money for the last samples. Which are in the Seine, thanks to Molly. I am not the bank of Juliet. But the fabric is expensive. Why would you even use expensive fabric? Why do dogs even need clothes? They have fur. Why let me go to design school if you're not going to support my dreams? I do support your dreams. I just cannot finance them. Papa was still here. Uh, table 7 needs cleaning. Go. And Olivier, the toilet won't stop running again. And the dishwasher won't run at all. Maybe you should finally let me get some to-go cups. Oh. The cardboard ones, like the B.A.C.C. Oh, no, thank you. Never. Stupid big American coffee company. Why don't they go back to their own country and take their big, stupid, arrogant name with them, too? Well, I, for one, will not get my coffee from any other cafe. Ah, thank you, Philippe. Your dinner is ready. And eat your vegetables this time. They are good for you. Okay. Uh... Juliet, Philip. I wondered yes. uh, if you would uh, know what time is it? 9.45. Ah. I still don't understand how people drink that BACC sludge. But they do, and they pay good money for it. How can they charge so much for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Americans are capitalist and greedy. Why do they live their lives in frantic haste? We find them pushy, hard to please, and needy. And their tracksuit could you lack any allure. Oh, do they have no taste? Has anyone here ever been to a BACC? <gasps> Their friendliness made me nervous. 
Their decor brought me to tears. They need to provide bad service. Just like we've done for years. We don't care what anybody says. We'll keep living life, keep living our love for says. We must maintain our honor and tradition. Our culture as we know it won't exist. We curse the caffeinated class ambition. And the need for excess kills any finesse. Dear friends, we must resist. 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 Well, shun their fries and burgers. And their big box stores as well. Don't mention Euro Disney. That's our idea of hell. We don't care. still be French and grow with the times. If growing with the times means being more like the BACC, then no thank you. Uh. But they always smile and say hello. They provide free Wi-Fi, don't you know? No, no, no. We must defend our status quo. My dear, where is your pride? How can you take their side? They're plenty sure of free, not that double whip side. We're French scoff at humility. We're French, do not aim to please. We know that our virility is a proper result of butter and cheese. When a president has at the age of 92 Ooh, We'll bet he'll want to come here And live life as we do We don't care what anybody says We'll keep living life, keep living our love for says oh, I told you We cannot meet here in front of my children and my customers I just wanted to drop by and give you the new offer The big American coffee company really wants this location Oh I can see that. <laughs> Besides, I'm a paying customer. I told you, I will think about it, and I will. Think about it all you want. But we need to know by Monday. We don't care what anybody says. We'll keep living life, keep living life, yes. Keep living life, keep living life, yes. Keep living life the way tradition says. We'll keep living life, keep living our lives. What in the hell are you doing? How dare you touch my stuff, Didong? Why would you touch any of it after I tell you not to? There is a reason they are hidden away in the closet. I'm sorry, Olivia, you said Olivia, that I... I should mind his own business, and so should you. My entire life is ruined since you show up here and everyone seems to be going out of their way to help you while I get kicked to the trash. Well, if you had been watching where you were walking, all my stuff wouldn't be at the bottom of the sand right now and I wouldn't even be here. Well, if you weren't such a typical American with your face buried in her phone, standing in the middle of a busy sidewalk... I was lost in a foreign country looking at my map trying to find a damn street sign. Why don't you just go back to wherever you came from and stay out of my life? Believe me, I would love nothing better. Do it quickly. Fine. Parfait. Parfait. Just who does that girl think that she is? I'm sick of her face and her meddling. How dare she invade my private space and go through my things? It's our fault we had this fight. What gives her the right? God, I hate that girl. I wish she would leave. Get out of my sight. If I were a different kind of girl, no one would talk to me that way. People would show me some respect, and I wouldn't care what people say. Someday I'll get out of here, and I will be an artist. Creative, successful, no more waiting tables. That girl doesn't know I'm not a bitch, just misunderstood and unlucky. I know I have flaws, things to improve, everyone does. 
Why did I react that way With anger and spite I don't like that girl But could she be right What if she's right If I were a different kind of girl Perfect and blonde with no esprit Then I'd be the girl my mother wants But I would be someone else, not me Papa always said when trying to fix something that's broken Change your perspective Do something different It's time to admit I'm just a pathetic cliché I've let Mama down when I just wish that she'd say Juliet I am so proud of you but I'm a fool that's clear those are words I'll never hear those are for Bonjour. Philippe, right? I'm Molly, remember? From the cafe? Alors, what, what can I do for you? Well, I know this might be a long shot, but I'm sort of desperate and, well, my engagement ring is the only thing I have of value. I know you're not a pawn shop and I know it's not an antiquité, but I guess what I'm asking is, it's just temporary so I can buy it back from you, right? Can we work that out? Oui, bien sûr, of course. Oh, I just, I just really need money until the embassy reopens and then I can get the money wired from home and, you know, to get home. I messed up royally with Juliet and she really wants me out of her... Hey, that lamp, it looks like... Ah, uh, yes, that is one of Juliet's. Well, her father's, but then Juliet's and now mine. That one is special to her. And she sold it to you? Oui, I bought a lot of old things of Juliet's. When her mother cannot help her, she comes here. That's really sweet of you. You must see something in her that I apparently do not. I, uh... You just have to give her a chance. She might surprise you. Hmm. I don't think I'll be here long enough to see that, but... Good to know. Here. This is how much I can give you. For now. Oh, thank you, Philippe. Merci beaucoup. You are saving me. This should definitely hold me over till Monday. Ah, uh, no. The embassy is closed Monday for La Fête et Le Mans. Le Mans? The festival of snails. Snails? Oui. Snails. Snails. It is a big celebration, art and food. You should come. Thank you so much for your help. Ça m'a fait plaisir. This is my pleasure. Good luck with Juliette. Thanks. You too. Sorry? Philippe, take it from me. Don't let your bucket list get too long before you start knocking things off of it. Bucket list? Oh, um, things you really want to do before you die list. I'm just saying, you should really take a chance. Juliet might surprise you. Isn't that what you told me? Juliet. Sweet Juliet, I'm in love with you. I promise to be true, Juliet. If only you could see that I am not the little boy I used to be. Juliet, sweet Juliet, no one's quite like you. I never say I do, dear Juliet. You're bossy, but I'm charmed You're not a muir, that's your allure And I'll make sure you never harmed The muse you give away To anyone who cannot pay I see your softer side The wounds you hide I know you crave approval But won't admit 
if it's true. So I'll be here for you. And those people who say you are snooty haven't noticed your talent and beauty. They are blind. Maybe one day you will see me. Finally see me, this man who loves Juliet, sweet Juliet. If I weren't so tongue-tied, would you be my bride, dear Juliet? How happy we could be if you'd say yes, if you'd say yes, if you'd say yes. I'm on the Will you marry me, Julia? Bonsoir, madame. Do you need help closing up the cafe? Ah, Molly. Merci, Mignon. I am almost done here anyway. Well, put me to work somewhere. I will not take no for an answer. Well, in that case, <laughs> this storeroom is really a mess, but um, oh, it's too much. I, you cannot... Oh, madame, um, you have found your girl, because I live for organizing messy spaces. Well, I haven't been able to get either one of my children to touch it. Oh, let me at it. Plus, it's the least I can do to repay your hospitality. Oh, hey, and guess what I found out? Hmm. The embassy is closed Monday for a festival of snails. Ah, well, we are very serious about our escargot. <laughs> Apparently. Where's Olivier? Well, he's on another date again. <laughs> he does get around. Well, you seem to have a good effect on him. Are you sure you are already spoken for? Oh, well, tonight I've got a hot date with a messy storeroom. <laughs> well, I will not keep you from it. Don't do anything I wouldn't do! <laughs> Is it time we turn a new page? Maybe we are showing our age. Dear old friend, what would I do if life did not include? Something breaks, the client's gripe, we scrape by for one more day. A faucet strip, the bills arrive, oh, mon dieu, are we like pay? I'm tired of being tired, I'd like to be retired. Somewhere relaxed, somewhere less taxed, far, far away. In I can see a lounge chair and a cocktail waiting patiently for me. Hmm, a balmy breeze. Men are meaty from swimming with the dolphins and from fishing every day in clear blue seas. Those clear blue seas. Oh, the sunset will be divine. Oh, the weather. Cause I'll be supine. I know that I could live there. Life with ease Just let me pack my suitcase, please Times have changed, we fell behind now I fear we are passé Folks today want internet, not their neighborhood cafe When Jean-Luc died, I stumbled But never cried or crumbled Because I had you and the kids to care for each day. But in Tahiti, life is fancy free, and I would only have to worry about me. <laughs> oh, what a tease. Warren Beatty, well, someone who looks like him will disarm and charm me under palmy trees. Those palmy trees, I'll find. To bask in the sun And these girls Will have a little fun Where it's almost always 70 degrees But once I got there What would I do Every day Would I be bored 
without that old cafe? Could I learn to live a quiet life in some far-flung exotic bay? Selling out will cause some dramas, but there's also many commas, so there's worn-out mamas on her way. To Tahiti, I left said goodbye to that, but could I honestly forget my former life? Hmm? No guarantees. There's no need for fear of fast regret. Searching just internet has put my mind at ease. Truly at ease, because I'm oh, at least for. Tahiti, in Tahiti, keep a lounge chair waiting there for me. Olivier, thought you had a date. I did. It ended early. It is very early for you. You aren't losing your touch, are you? I mean, if the great ladies man Olivier Cossel loses his touch, then there really is no hope for the rest of us, huh? <laughs> no, my friend. I very much still have my touch. Good to hear. I don't know. I just was not interested in getting to know this girl past dinner. <laughs> Since when have you ever needed to know a girl to get past dinner? Come on, I live vicariously through you. You can't touch me down now. Oh, well, maybe you should stop living vicariously through me and do some of your own living. I should. You're a great guy, and handsome too. You would be a catch for anyone. Ah, wonderful. Would you like to go on a date with me? Only if you kiss on the first date. Get out of here. Don't play hard to get with me. Good night, Olivier. See you in the morning, sweetheart. Hello? I come in peace. Don't worry, I'm leaving. I just came to get my stuff, and... To say I'm sorry for touching your things. Your apology is for shit. I'm sorry, what? This. You went through my personal photos. Why would you? Hey, that is my what photo. What is your problem? Stealing a photo? I didn't. Montos. I did not steal your picture. You're crazy. This is my picture. Liar! I am not lying. I, I brought this with me from home. This is a picture of my dad and the lamp he got me with the little girl from Paris he bought it from. Look on the back. He wrote on it. Street Festival in Paris. Lamp for Molly. Wait. Look. We have the same photo. We have the same photo? That's me. I am the little girl in the photo. Wait. What? You mean... My dad took this photo of me because I was so happy that... You were the little girl who made my lamp? I was 11. I was eight when my dad gave it to me. My father died shortly after that. I'm so sorry. I used to see them watch him work. And every year we'd sell them at festival together. That year he said I was finally old enough to design my own. I didn't think it was any good, but I remember that guy. Your dad picks up my lamp, saying it was the perfect thing for his daughter, hands me a twenty-dollar American bill, and says, "Garde la monnaie." Keep the change. He told me that story. It was twenty dollars, but it felt like a million. Every time I turn that lamp on, I, I feel him right there with me. Your father has gone too. A year ago, on my birthday. The day I got here. That day was your birthday. Merde, that was a shitty day. I sometimes wondered who that girl was. And if I met her, what I'd say. That girl who made my lamp, who had my love. Who lived so far away. I thought she'd have a sense of style. She'd be really smart like me. Creative. And type A. She'd, She'd understand, understand me perfectly, perfectly But she was just a story A moment 
from a long time ago. A memory forgotten, how could I know? One little change, one different choice We wouldn't be standing here today Isn't life strange? My dad would rejoice if he could see Our bizarre destiny Maybe this is the start and not how our story ends The possibility that we What's wrong? Hold on. I think I have a strange idea. The festival's tomorrow night. Really? You have a booth that you'd reserve to sell. Your doggy clothing, right? You mean my canine couture line when my stuff is gone so that is dead? No, Juliet, you have to use the booth to sell your lamps instead. We have like 827 lamps in front of us. They are not even lamps yet, it's just pieces and parts. That lamp is my favorite thing I own. And wouldn't your dad love to see you continue his work? I'm sure my dad is probably clapping and laughing his ass off right now. There's more to you than I was willing to see. One little change, one different move, we wouldn't be sad. This is the start and not how our story ends. I think we were destined to be friends. friends. We made a change, we made a choice. There's a new possibility. Isn't life strange? I'm hearing God's voice saying to me, you're where you should be. There is too much to do, Molly. It is not possible. So we'll get help. Here, give me your phone. Juliet. You've got me now. It's you and me now. Not much more time. You've got me not now. Not much more time. Not much more time. It's you and me not now. Not much more time. Not much more time. First runs of wires through. Tighten up that little screw Right on cue Now, now send, send it down, down the line. line A little polish next I'd say The lamps who needs a right display We're ready, check, 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 okay I think that's it Juliet Are these your father's lamps? Yes, Mama I am so proud of you. Not much more time. It's like a light was sudden. It was her night. Now I know why. Look off these clouds. It's cleared and all this clouds are much too tight. Tighten up the final screw. Right on cue. Now send it down the line. A little polish. Now I say. They want it. Now I'm just a rod. I'm finished. Now I can say. I'll finish, check, 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 okay. These lamps are on their way. We'll get there, come what may. I think that's... Molly. Patrick? What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? You... Well, I came here to surprise you. Who's this guy? Oh, Patrick, this is Olivier. Olivier, Patrick? Ah, yes, the famous fiancé. Oh, I'm, I'm famous, am I? And that's Juliet and Madame Courcel. She's been letting me stay here. Bienvenue, Patrick, is it? Oui, uh, comment allez-vous? Ah, vous parlez français? That's pretty much all I know. We've been getting ready for the festival. Here, come see what we're doing. Uh, Mal, I'm pretty beat. I, I just traveled 17 hours to be with you. Like you, alone. 
Can we please just go back to the hotel? Patrick, please. We're on a deadline. We're so close to finishing. A deadline? I don't understand. Do you work here now? Molly, where's your ring? My ring? Did that get lost too? No, no. I, I, um, I took it. I took it off to, to, to um, work. Uh, it's upstairs in my room. So you'll get it tomorrow. Come on, I I'm beat. Let's just go back to the hotel. Okay. Bye, guys. I don't like him. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, good morning. Hey. Molly, Patrick, I behaved sorry really badly about everything going so Sorry. <laughs> you go first. Okay. I was just saying that I'm so sorry about... I mean, it was, it was like a perfect storm of everything going wrong in my life, and it just made me feel like I was free-falling without a net to catch me. I'm your net, Mal. I'll always be your net. I know. And I love that, but there was something... I don't know, being all alone in this place has been... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it, just... I'm tired, I guess, and feeling a little existential. You'll forget about all this when we get back home. To our new home... Here's some cash. Go get yourself a new wallet, purse, phone, whatever you need. I'll print out the plane tickets and meet you back here. Okay. You're right. Thank you, Patrick. I'm so sorry you had to bail me out. For better or worse, right? Right. Okay. I'm jumping in the shower. See you in a bit. Okay. We'll have a big wedding and I'll be his wife Two kids and a dog, a comfortable life Our manicured lawn will be greener than green Our days will be busy, idyllic routine At that house Patrick bought, I have not even seen our children will grow and our garden will thrive With Patrick arriving each night right at five The dog will get walked and the cat will be fed We'll read the kids' stories and tuck them in bed It all sounds so great, what's this feeling of dread? Oh come on, that's enough Knock it off, life is great, all is well, things are fine but what if I want something more, something mine? What if it's something I can't quite define? No, everything is fine. I won't ever wonder how life would have been had I stayed here in Paris and not given in. It's the price that I'll pay for that annual jaunt To see Patrick's family in upstate Vermont For the country club lunches and the Mother's Day brunches I'd be giving that all up for what a croissant And people will say, hey, what more could you want? And I'll think to myself, they are right, life is great, all is well, things are fun what if I want something more, something more? What if the wanting itself is a sign? No, everything is fine. But is fine all I want? Is fine all there is? Am I on the right path? Is this the right choice? What if I'm wrong and I forfeit? to myself. They are right, they are right, they are right, they are right. Were those plans for our future, Patrick's or mine? If dad were alive, he'd say, Molly, don't whine. No, everything is fine. Just Just fine, fine, fine. Just fine. 
Do you think she's leaving? Who? Molly? No. Coco Chanel. Yes, Molly. It would seem so. Is that why you are so mopey? I'm not mopey. You are mopey. You don't want her to leave. Well, neither do you. Mm, is it possible someone is developing actual feelings for someone? Oh, come, Juliette. You know I'm not <laughs> capable of that. You know that handsome, charming mm. Frenchman shit will only work for so long. Just don't wake up one day too late wondering why you don't have love. <laughs> when did you become so deep? I am always deep. I think you are growing up. Molly makes you act your age. Almost. She... she does make me smile inside. Oh, that is really sweet, Olivier. Are you feeling okay? Oh, shut up. What about you? When she leaves, are you going back to acting like a sullen teenager who thinks the world is against her? The world is against me. Why, are you going back to sleeping with every girl you meet? Maybe. I don't know. No. Wait. Do you hear that? What? The sound of women everywhere weeping. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stick with the lamps, Juliet. I think you really have something there. Well, something has got to start looking up for me. Hmm? Juliet! Philippe, it's only 5.40 in the morning. I know exactly what time it is. Uh, Philippe? Oh, I'm sorry, Olivier. I didn't realize you were there. Apparently. Uh, uh, s sorry, it's it's Molly. Uh, she said I should start knocking things off my, uh, how you say, bucket list? I am on your list. Oh, God, Juliet, you are the list. Everyone knows that. Uh, sorry, Philippe. It is okay. Really? How did I not know this? And more importantly... What took you so long? Well, I did try once before, but you threw dirt at me. I threw dirt at you? I was four years old. It went much better this time. I'll say. <laughs> uh, Juliet, would, would you like to have dinner with me? Tonight? Say yes. Yes. Good. Oh, wait! Do you hear that? What? The sound of everyone, everywhere, saying, finally! Bonjour, love is in the air, l'amour. We love a love affair, it's true. That magic stealing over you. That first kiss, that first rendezvous. Suddenly your dreams come true. And suddenly a man you knew Who's always been right there Looks entirely different to you You never know, you never know Just how or why, where or when, when but It, it happens, happens again and, and again in Paris If you ask me True love was waiting for you this time Bonjour Love is in the air L'amour Erases every care It's true My heart feels brand new When I put my arms around you You may. I always enjoyed romance, loved to flirt. I never gave love a chance or got hurt. Strange how things can change. I met a girl I adore. Now I want something more. Bonjour. 
your faith in Paris She'll bring true love to you next time I will see you later I will be here Sweet Juliet, I'm in love with you. I'll be for... Ah, oh, bonjour, Mali. C'est un bel jeune, n'est-ce pas? Oh, Philippe, why are you in such a good mood? Philippe, what? I did it. I kissed Juliet. I just walked up to her and I kissed her. And she kissed me too. Shut up! Why? No, no, I mean, that's great. I'm really happy for you, both of you. Oh, here, I have this money to give you for my ring. Molly, uh, I hope you are not leaving without saying goodbye. Oh, Olivier, please don't look at me like that. I, I feel like I'm disappointing you. Cher Molly, I do not look at you with disappointment. I am only disappointed that I will no longer get to look at you. Oh, that's a good line. You should really keep that one. <laughs> that one, Molly, is not a line. That is the truth. Olivier... No, Molly, you can't leave before festival. We work so hard. Oh, Juliet, you are going to be my hardest goodbye. Then don't go, please. Don't leave. I'm not really sure how I can stay. I have a whole life to get back to. But your dad and that ridiculous lamb. You know we were meant to meet somehow. It's not ridiculous. You know what I mean. It all feels like a... I don't know. Like a daydream. A notion from a long time ago Don't give up, don't settle, don't, don't let, let the dream, dream go You have the whole world in front of you to make it whatever you want it to be So do you One little change, one different move We, we wouldn't, wouldn't be standing face to face Isn't life strange? Our dads would approve could see our sweet destiny. I think this is the start and not how a story ends. Juliet, I have to go. No. I will be there all night if I need to. I want this case. Uh, send me the file. I'll, I'll work on it on the plane. Finally. <laughs> Just about to come looking for you. Patrick, we need to talk. No, we really got to get going. Can we talk in the cab? No. Ollie, what is it? I need to learn to become my own net. What? You can't be my net anymore, Patrick. Molly, that was a figure of speech. Patrick, I don't ever want to look back on my life again and regret something like missing this trip with my dad. Molly, No, I just... Patrick. I've lived my whole life never taking a chance. With lists and with plans, then I came to France. I got lost, I screwed up, I got here on my own. I stepped way outside of my old comfort zone. It's been quite the fiasco, but I think I've grown. Molly. The thing that was murky is now crystal clear. I like who I am, and I'm liking it here. Those country club lunches are not what I want, or manicured lawns, or trips to Vermont. Good God, Molly, tell me what more do you want? Yes, for once, I am sure. Life is great, and for now, this is where I belong. My father was right, and I'll never forget. Live by a list, and you'll live with regret. Patrick, here, please take your ring back. The truth is we're not. Molly, I really need you. I can't believe you'd leave me. You agreed to be my Not wife, Molly. Fine. I told you, get it. I love you. Don't you know that we will have the perfect life? And finds not fine. Molly, so. Molly, 
What are you doing here? Are you okay? What happened? I... I left. I know, but you came back. No, I, I left Patrick. Oh, see it, my dear. Here, take my handkerchief. Your friends are so kind. That's not something we often get accused of. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I'm not sure what I've just done. Well, you just made one little change. Huh. Little? Okay, one giant change. Humongous. I don't even know what to do next. Ah, uh, how about you help me run this festival? That I can do. Molly, you are here. You are staying? For now. And Patrick? Gone. This, uh, this makes my heart very happy, Molly. Uh, and I know you probably have a list of things a mile long to do, but ever since I met you, I have been waiting for the moment that I get to kiss you, and I feel like finally... Olivier, it can wait. Deja vu. This is fate. Same old you. But a new romance is not my focus now. Just one date will go slow. No debate. No means no. I've got a whole new life to figure out somehow. Friends for now, if you can. I need time, not a man. I'm only just discovering who I am. This is my brand new start. But affairs of the heart can wait. It can wait. So, what is the plan? The plan? Uh, for the first time in my life, I don't have any plan at all. Not even a list, and it feels pretty awesome. A little scary, but mostly awesome. Well, I've got so many lists and plans bursting out of my brain, I don't even know what to do with them all. Let's get this girl a notebook. Oni va, we have a festival to run. Let's go sell some lamps. I've got order forms for days. Now we just need to fill them. Oh, we will. Who are you and what have you done with my sister? Something special is taking hold. This moment feels so right. Great things happen when you are bold. The past cannot confine us or define us. And no one will outshine us. don't even look like your father's lamps anymore. You have really made them your own. I would even buy one. Leave behind your old frame of mind. We couldn't ask for more. Go get lost, who knows what you'll find. And good things come from waiting. It's frustrating. Tonight we're celebrating what's in store. People will come from near and far to Be mesmerized and hypnotized when we light up the night. Paris will open up your heart. Come let your wildest dreams take flight. Tonight we'll build our own city of light. Everything's drawn up, ready for you to sign. The deal is off. We are not selling. I don't understand. You know you'll never get another offer as I'm good as this. I'm sure you are right, monsieur, but not everything is about the money. Sometimes it's about the light. That makes no sense. Well, hopefully for your sake, one day it will. Uh, Maman, what was that all about? That was about me giving you free reign to take the cafe into the 21st century. Really? Really? You give that BACC a run for its money. They won't know what hit them.
been listening to City of Light. Christina Alabato as Molly. Jane Blass as Mademoiselle Corcells. Jack Cotterell as Oliver. Anthony Norman as Philippe. Carrie Saffron as Juliet. Zach Shaney as Patrick. Also featuring Katie Wilson and Christopher Rice. Music was composed by Jan Roper. The lyrics by Julie Weiner. And Gabrielle Wagner Mann is the book writer. Musicians include Brian Holtz on bass, Rodney Howard on drums, Jan Roper on piano. The musical director is Jan Roper. Produced by Alton Christensen, Lauren Telugian, and Ralph Kelsey. Sound design at Sandblast Productions. Recorded at Bunker Studio in Brooklyn, New York. Recording engineer, Nolan Thies. This has been a production of the Micromusical Theater Show. A special thanks to those who support through Patreon. For more about City of Light and other micromusicals, visit our webpage at micromusicalshow.com.